Hello everyone! Welcome all you lovely geeks and nerds, writers and peoples, and peeps and writers, to the World Explorers Podcast, where we build ridiculous worlds, fantastical worlds, and some dragon worlds. They're kind of boring sometimes. <laughs> wow, uh, way to sell us short. <laughs> Make it sound all grand and then the end like one episode. episode. I thought it was fine. Anyway, so in this podcast, in, in case you don't already know, we create a world, yep. and that's it. We yep. just world build. That is the podcast. Different world each episode. Yep. And in case you're listening to us on Anchor or uh, Spotify or wherever else, we now have a YouTube channel, so Ooh. you can go and find all of our podcasts on there. Yay! Yay! We're everywhere now. We're like everything place that you can stream except maybe like one or two places we're there. Okay. Anyway, we are n now everywhere, so you can go and listen to us wherever. Anyway, so last episode, I somehow ended up promising to do a jungle themed episode. I don't even remember how I did that, but it I somehow backed myself into a corner and I forced myself to come up with a jungle world to build. I mean, I don't no, even this, is your, this is your only job for the podcast, so it's not it's not that big of a deal for you to have to come up with a specific theme. Yeah, but I have some other ideas I'd like to get to. Well, it's jungle day, so... <laughs> okay, so, um, the recently I was told about uh, a, a TV series called Heaven's Design Team. And the uh, the premise of that uh, series is basically God created the world, the heavens, the earth, and everything, and then he and then he just started saying, "Hey, you know what? This is a lot of work. What if I outsourced and had other people do the work for me?" So he said, "It had a bunch of angels go and start making creatures to put on Earth." Uh, uh, I have not seen the series, but that's um, what I've uh, heard it's about. So anyway, but, it's a series which premise is a lazy god. I guess so. I mean, I mean, he created most. Of, he created like ninety nine percent of stuff, and, and then it's like that last little bit. He's like, you know, I'm 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 kind of tired. This is a lot of work. I'm gonna start outsourcing my stuff. Huh. And. uh... Anyway, so I looked at that and I said, what if we applied this concept and this idea to a jungle where we have a man who okay. is who lives in like this open plains sort of field, maybe some hills or cliffs or whatever, and he says, you know what, I want some plants around me. I have no, uh, I have no plants. I just have grass. So he starts going out and hiring people, and maybe they'll go and uh, bring him ex rare, exotic plants to fill his uh, jungle to create this special, unique forest. So the idea of this is a plains biome turned into a... I'm talking Minecraft terms, great. Uh, turned yes. into a jungle one through the use of plants and animals taken from, I guess, all over the world? Yes. Okay, so the first problem that occurs when you do something like this is how do you keep certain plants alive next to other certain plants that need very different things? Yeah, you get a cactus and you put it next to a, uh, I don't know, what's a plant that needs lots of water? Like a water lily or something. How are we? How are we doing this? Um, I, I was thinking, you go and you place it in the same ground. What? Uh, you dig a hole and you plant it. Yes, but pl there, Isaac. I'm not sure if you have plants, but there are more to plants than just planting them. In front of me, I have a bunch, and all, all of these plants need different things. I have a cactus that doesn't like being watered. I have a Christmas cactus that likes it every now and then. And then I have an avocado tree that guzzles it like mad. Okay, so at this point, you have this guy who wants all of these uh, plants. We might be developing a story in this as well. That's fine. Uh, 
So you have this guy who wants all of these plants, and one of his problems might be that people keep on bringing in plants from different uh, lands with a whole bunch of different needs. And so, uh, um, maybe from there, he is, uh, he would have, uh, what would be a solution that he could, he could come up with? Because we also have to come up with a solution. Yeah. I, I know, uh, I know, like, no, a crazy childhood dream that me and my brothers had, or at least me and Bradley had, was one day we were going to open up a ecosystem, like, they were going to be these giant bubbles that were climate, which were developed climates for specific biomes, and they would be attached to each other with, like, tunnels, and it would be, it'd be kind of scary to go through them because you'd have, like, an entire ecosystem contained in them. Like, the predator animals would be hunting other animals, and, like, it would be self-sustained, but in this little eco-ball, like, in the Midwest America. That is one idea. Uh, something else I came up with just now was, um, what if this guy, because we're world building, we can give him magic. What we if we could. say that uh, he wants a jungle, and uh -huh. because jungles are known for having so many uh, different kinds of plants and just a whole bunch of unknown plants and things people have never heard of, what if people are bringing him more common plants? And then uh, they're like, here, accept this offering and give me my pay. And uh, what if he's like taking multiple plants and then smushing them together and combining them to create his jungle? And maybe not even just plants, maybe animals as well. So one day, uh, somebody brought him a snake to add okay. to his jungle, and somebody else brought him a flower, and he created a Venus flytrap. <laughs> is that is that how your idea uh, I won't I've always thought the Venus flytrap was a mix between a frog and a plant but okay it might be uh, I mean really if you want to uh, look at how a Venus flytrap moves it's very slow true but okay so it's a frog a sloth and a uh, plant rolled into one <laughs> yeah yeah that's what it is Mm -hmm. um, frog, a sloth, a plant rolled into one. And yeah. So maybe this guy has the ability to. Well, I guess combine. it would be a snail because they can produce like they they tend to be kind of a bit more slimy. The Venus flytraps, at least some types are. So I guess it'd be more a snail. So uh, <laughs> do we want to go with that or? Sure, I'm up for that. Okay. So um, yeah, plus this gives us like more world building ness rather than it just being a jungle. I'm trying yeah. to come up with how can we add more actual world building to this so it's not just our world with an origin story. Yeah. So does that mean this uh, person also has the ability to change climate of an area? So he can make um, a section maybe. hot and humid, another section really cold, another one kind of desert-like. But he needs maybe. like the supplies to do it. Like he, So he can combine things, he can put things in other things, but he can't create out of thin air. Yes. So, to make his desert, he would need a bunch of sand brought, but then he could imbue the ground with it and the climate mm -hmm. and make it hot and humid in that area. Uh, to make a... So, part of get, making his little jungle area is he'd need lots of water, so it can create a humid atmosphere, and then he can contain it. So, wait, are you, he's still just building a jungle, right? He's not yeah. building a whole bunch of other... Okay, so, I'm like... Saying if he wanted to build you're saying to create the jungle, he's combining biome elements. Yeah. So he needs okay. the plants and the animals, but he also needs ex water. He just needs enough water to start up the ecosystem. Okay. Uh, imagine if he like wants to create um, a waterfall, and uh, he's like, I need somebody to bring me a mountain. <laughs> or even just imagine. piles and piles of rocks and dirt, and then he can... Or even just rocks, because rocks can be condensed into stone. Yep, and then he could just take these and create his uh, waterfall. Yeah. Or maybe well, he could he be like, create, well. or maybe in this world, maybe waterfalls don't exist, and he creates the first waterfall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, cre just assembling a mountain and then pouring water off of it. And then having the water self feed itself, because yep. that's part of it. Like it, like it evaporates, and that's where he brings in the desert to evaporate the water. 
Oh, that's interesting, using, like, other ecosystems to power his main one. Like, he just has many yep. ecosystems in a tent hiding away somewhere, just so he can, uh, can keep it powered. Cause yeah, so he's, like, just, he's just combining everything. Yeah, he's like, just having a fun time. It's okay, like so, uh, games. so it, what kind, how would he, uh, maybe create... Um, animals. Is he creating animals as well? Because he's com I know he's combining animal. Uh, he was combining animals into plants and plants into plants. But what about combining animals into animals? Like pushing two animals together. What kind of animals are in the jungle that he could do this with? I mean, I, I mean, if you think like a leopard is a cat with spots, or so I don't so, know. A cat cross of a Dalmatian. Yeah. <laughs> like some more yellow. Uh, you got the parrots, which are just brightly colored birds. Some of them seem like a mix of Oh, it's a rainbow crow! Oh my goodness, a rainbow <laughs> crow. That's an idea. Uh, yeah, I'd imagine he'd be able to do that as much as he'd want to. Okay, so He's he probably the guy responsible for the platypus. Uh, he, he's probably the inventor of the platypus, I have it's no doubt. It's his body of the platypus. <laughs> Whatever the platypus is. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, piranhas, so we have... They're fish with teeth. Uh, so, all I think is, like, mini sharks, but that's not what we're looking for. It's like a fish combined with, uh... Something with lots and lots of teeth. What is known for having lots and lots of sharp teeth? Uh, like an alligator, so it's even more aquatic. Maybe? Crocodile. I'm not sure I'm sold on alligator. Uh, oh. I don't know what else ha- I mean, anyways, the whole thing with piranhas is a myth. They tend not to bite people. Huh, I did not know that. Yeah. Mario lied to me. A lot of things lied to you. And they will continue to, but... Because you can get, like, pet piranhas if you, uh, file, do the proper paperwork. You know, piranhas look so- it's a little bit off topic, but, uh, piranhas, they look so terrifying. People always like, that is a terrifying fish to look at. What's scary is the skeleton of a piranha. <laughs> like, look at a piranha and then compare it to the skeleton of a piranha. That stuff will haunt you in your dreams. <laughs> you don't like the skeleton of a piranha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's anyway, funny. back to the world building. Um, what what uh, would a piranha be combined with? Should we skip over this one, or should we try and figure out what's best combined with a piranha? I mean, we could always just stick with the alligator, and if you think of something else, show. Yeah, let's let's just go with that. Yeah. Piranha is a fish crossed with an alligator. There we go. Um. So what would a sloth be? What would a what be? A sloth. They got those long A uh, monkey crossed with a snail? Yeah, but neither of those would give them like the nails. Oh, I guess like an anteater. They kind of have like a similar paws to an anteater. Except yeah, they don't could use do it that. for target. Could be that. Uh, anteater crossed with snail crossed with monkey. Yeah. And then or to bear, get the and then maybe. to yeah, and then to get the ant either he had crossed mm. an elephant with I don't I don't know. They kinda have honestly, oh. I always thought that they looked kinda pig like, so maybe a pig. An elephant crossed maybe. with a pig. Either I think we should like try and have like a standard base animals are the ones that he is combining into things. Like snake is a standard base uh, animal. The thing is, um, this is gonna turn less into, uh, us world building to us creating one of those, uh, you know the, those, uh, DNA games or whatever they're called, where you get to combine things to make other things and you just keep going until eventually you get, like, man and then you go beyond that and you get robotics and eventually you get other planets and stuff. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, okay, so these games, you start with the four elements. You start with fire, water, earth, air. You start combining those to get things like wind and this and that and mountain and rock. and Or you get rock and then you combine rock with something up with more rock to get mountain. And then you just keep combining and combining and then you eventually make everything. And it's 
it's a fun, like, if you want to waste your life away for a good few hours, just play one of those games. They're kind of addicting. Yeah, that's basically what we're doing. Yeah, that's what this world is. It's mm-hmm. one of those mobile app games. So where else, what else would we do for world building this? Because it seems like if uh, we just keep doing what we're doing, it's going to get a little bit repetitive, and we're just yeah. going to keep on uh, just figuring and just combining things to get new creatures, plants. Yeah. And, uh, so what we have, stuff. what we have right now is we've got this guy who's made himself this wonderful jungle with the help of minions. Uh, so does he actually live in this jungle with his minions? Have they decided? You know what? Let's all stay here now. I mean, I was thinking maybe he was just paying a bunch of people to go out, adventure the world, and bring back uh, creatures that uh, that he could use in his uh, jungle. And some people would be like, look at this creature! It's so cool, isn't it? It's a snake! And he says, no, not big enough! And combines it with an elephant. Goodness. <laughs> so... And These then, people he's hiring, what would their thoughts be on this person who was going about merging things, or...? I think that they would vary. I think it would be hilarious to have, like, one guy, uh, who's like, Oh my gosh, that's so cool! And then another guy that's like, No, oh, my snake! I spend hours trying to get that thing, and you just merge him with an elephant! That's really sad if you spend hours horrified. catching a snake, considering my little brother caught one in, like, ten minutes. Mind you, that same day he caught a salamander, which was poisonous. So, you oh. know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. there's like poisonous frogs. Like uh, I think it's called poison dart frog. The poisonous that dart lives frog. in the jungle. Yeah. Uh, you can combine that with uh, poison ivy. Ew. So just deadly or poison ivy. No, I was thinking, like, uh, poison ivy combined with a frog to get the poison Oh, dart, okay, the get the frog. poison dart. Well, the thing is, like, the poison dart frog is deadly. Like, you touch it and it kills you. And uh, the reason it's deadly is actually, fun facts, uh, what it eats. So you can actually get a pet poison dart frog that's not poisonous because they feed it other things. I, mean, I can uh, see him either just grabbing a more lethal plant and injecting that into a frog to make it a poison dart frog, or I could see him taking poison ivy and sticking there and be like, eh, not good enough. And puts, just shows a whole bunch more poison ivy into this frog. So, what 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 I'm getting here, this person doesn't seem like that great of a guy. Because he's making, like, kind of harmless things, or things that only hurt a little bit, to things that hurt a lot. Such as, if you combine a snake and an elephant, you get the python, I guess is what we'd be going for. Is Yeah. Uh, you get, you add a poisonous plant to, uh, the Venus fly traps aren't nice, especially if you make bigger versions. Piranhas are still, they can be painful if you don't leave them alone. They're like bees, leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. But if you don't, they hurt. Uh, yeah, so he's just, he's having fun making deadly things. Is this the type of person who would, if his minions don't satisfy him, send them into the jungle for his entertainment? Uh, maybe. I mean, I think what he's he's really doing is he's taking even the most uh, mundane of things, and he's still managing to work with them. Yeah, but... To right. make horrible things that want to eat and kill you. I mean, he could take them and be like, Oh, yes, this is really cool. Now, I need, I want to see it in action. Do you mind going and trying to give that giant creature I just made a hug? Yeah, and you know what that <laughs> giant python's gonna do? It's gonna hug you right back and then swallow you whole. Yep, yep, just be like, Hey, uh, so the python... I I designed it to be very loving. Like I wanted to, for once, create something that was a very loving creature rather than a super deadly thing. So why don't you go and give it a hug and see how it reacts? Because it should give you a nice hug back. And then it goes and it gives him a big old squeeze, and he's like, "Oh, made it a little bit too strong." Oh well, can't undo it now. What's done is done. Moving on. <laughs> So, he's making these guys in pairs, right? I would guess so, so that they can reproduce. Okay, just making sure. 
And I know that like a lot of creatures, uh, the male versions are often very different from female versions. Yeah. Uh, so maybe when he goes and creates uh, one version, it's like, let's say he creates a male version, he's like, oh, this turned out really well, time for me to replicate it, and then something goes wrong in the replicating process, or maybe he runs out of materials uh, to recreate it perfectly. So he's like, oh, I have to improvise, and uses something else to get the uh, female version, and that's why the female version might be so different from the male version. While other creatures, they're nearly identical, and you can hardly tell them apart. Are you referring to a lot of birds, how all the males get all the pretty colors and the females don't? <laughs> that might be one thing, yeah. Like, uh, like it depends on the bird, but yeah. A lot of bir male birds, like, they might get the pretty colors, uh, while females don't. So he's like, okay, I'm going to inject it a rainbow into this bird, and oh boy, it's beautiful! Now for me to make the female version! Wait, where's my lucky charms? I'm out of Lucky Johns! Uh, okay, you get normal marshmallows. <laughs> wow. There's a, there's, there's a lot. You do realize that on one of our statistics, one person who watches our videos consistently is a female, and you've just insulted our one consistent viewer. Did you, you find it insulting? A slight, yeah, I mean, I, I meant to just uh, say uh, I don't that this you guy just... is looking at at uh, some female creatures. Is like, oh, I can't make you exactly the same. I'll have to because I ran out of materials. So I'll have to improvise, and then you get normal marshmallows instead of lucky charms. Yes, but see, that's what I mean. You're saying like, oh, all the guys get all the cool stuff, and all the girls are just slightly less drab and like the leftovers. Only for the birds. <laughs> Okay. I'm talking I'm, about humans. Okay, I don't know. It's not, it's it doesn't sound great. Is all I'm saying. Is you might. It's want... not my intention. <laughs> I I know it's not, but I want to make it know that that. It's... I'm talking about birds specifically, not uh -huh. humans. Uh huh. Okay. If it makes you feel any better, <laughs> uh, it's very very difficult, if not impossible. To tell a female snake from a male snake. <laughs> is that what we're going with? Does that make you feel any better? Does it make you feel better if I told you that uh, male uh, seahorses give birth? No, I'm all aware of that. <laughs> no, what would make me feel better is that we have a the spot add a spider in because the females eat the males. Yeah, that seems to happen a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think fireflies do that too. Do they? Oh. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm not certain about that one, but I think they do. Uh, I, I know, pr I believe prey mantis do it. I'm not sure about female. No, maybe not fireflies. No, now I'm thinking about it, I don't think it was. I think I really am just confusing prey mantis with fireflies. But speaking of fireflies, imagine trying to create one of those, because those are unique creatures. Yeah. What would you do to make some of those? Combine uh, those with what? Well, it's a fly. Or a beetle. I guess they're, they kind of look beetle-like. They fly like a beetle. Uh, combined with something that produces light. Or maybe just light. Like, he takes that and just be light. It's, maybe it's like he has a mission. It's like, hey, I'm sending you on a mission, sir. Oh, what is it? I need you to go and grab me a bit of the sun. Uh... Say what? I need you to grab me a, just a hair of the sun. I can't tell you to grab me just normal fire because that's not high quality enough. I need something that will have a steady glow. It's like, oh... Okay, then. Then comes back with the lantern. It's like, is this part of the sun? Uh, yes, yes, I, I promise. This is totally part of the sun. Okay, I trust you. Here's your payment. He then leaves. He infuses the, uh, um, beetle. Yeah, the firefly, the beetle with the supposed sun, and he finds out he got ripped off. This is just normal fire, and that's why the firefly can't keep a steady glow. And it's only, like, occasionally lights up and then gets dim. It's because he got, uh, the store brand version of the sun. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Just normal fire. That's okay. Later on, he'll realize it's better that way because they're pretty because they flicker. Uh, I see so many fun stories coming out of this. Just like, like little short like, You can have an entire, like, you can have each chapter be about uh, a different thing that he wants to add to his jungle where he sends somebody on a mission. Yeah. And then you can have, like, the first part of the story be about how he, uh, hire somebody, and it could be, the focus could be on him, and it could transition to this person going out on an adventure. You tell his, you tell this guy, this uh, guy's story and his adventure, comes, brings it back, and then you tell the story of him creating the new item for the jungle. 
Honestly, it feels a lot like uh, Native American folk tales. Like, you hear the stories, like, uh, what a popular one is the bear and how it lost its tail. Like, bears used to have long tails, but now they have short stubby tails and there's a story behind it. Or a chipmunk used to just be a squirrel that got attacked but escaped, like, claws of some creature. I don't remember what creature. And so those stripe patterns was it being attacked. And now it has stripe patterns and that's how the chipmunk was made. Yeah, and I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of those, like uh, how the elephant got its trunk. It was I believe it was stretched by it, 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 I believe its nose was stretched by an alligator. Yeah, or the um, giraffe. It couldn't reach the top of the tree, so it grew its neck bigger. So it kept stretching its neck bigger, so it could uh, grow up with the tree. So as the tree grew, it grew, so it could keep uh, eating the leaves. Yeah, that's kind of what this is like except somebody is just forcing these together, and sometimes they're just happy accidents. Happy accidents? And sometimes yeah, and they're, they're ha just non-happy mistakes. Yeah, and sometimes he really just, uh, he, he was just running out of resources, and it's like, oh, gotta improvise. Yeah. You're gonna have so much fun with this. I I think it'd be a fun, like, I, again, it's not, it's, we're, we've been branching on children's stories a lot recently, but making it like a folk tale style children book at, called like Creating the Jungle or something like that. And then just having yeah. each of these stories and then illustrating them because they'd be fun to illustrate. Yeah, this would this just be fantastic. Now, going a slightly darker route, uh, there is a, um, a flower yeah. Uh, that grows in the jungle called a corpse flower, and it smells like a corpse. Does he ever in this jungle? Does he create the corpse flower and combine some? Combine something like maybe the guy that the python killed <laughs> into a flower and create the corpse flower. I mean, my thought would be to make it more of like a funny story, kind of sad but kind of funny. Like a person, one of the people he's hired brings back this creature but failed to keep it alive. So he brings back this dead creature, and then in his anger, he creates this corpse flower to torture this person with, who failed to... So he's like, don't worry, I've got a use for this, and then creates it, and then uh. fall, makes it, like, follow the scent, follow this guy around. It's like, and this is your burden oh. now. Well, I'm actually pretty sure that the corpse flower can be smelled from ridiculously far away. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up real quick. <laughs> so we have to look up the corpse flower? Carrion flowers, also known as corpse flowers or stinking flowers, are flowers that emit an odor that smells like rotting flesh. Uh, these flowers attract mostly scavenging scav flies, beetles, and pollinators. Some species may trap insects temporarily and should, should gather, blah, blah, blah. Um, it I'm trying to see if it says anywhere how far it can be smelled from. Okay, I don't see anywhere, but I remember reading somewhere about this where it can be smelled from ridiculously far away. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, you're imagine wrong, you're only on the combining, internet everywhere. Imagine maybe the reason it's so big is because he combined a fairly large animal uh, animal corpse with the flower. Yeah. Shoot, yeah. Um, or, maybe, or maybe what happened was, oh, this could be hilarious. Maybe what happens is uh, a similar situation with the fireflies where it's like, here's your animal. Is he dead? Uh, no, no, no. He's sleeping. He's just sleeping. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I don't think he's breathing. Nope, nope, nope. He, he's asleep. He's asleep. I promise. Oh, okay. Well, I was. I had this idea for a gorgeous flower that I could combine it with. Oh, that sounds like a cool idea. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Combine some, make some, and it starts making a horrible smell. It's like, I thought you told me he was sleeping. Uh, I mean, if we really want to go maybe far, I was wrong. what if it was a dead skunk? Oh, that's perfect. That would be so much worse as if it's it's a dead skunk. That's perfect. It's like, is he sleeping? No, no. It's like, yeah, yeah, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's totally alive. Okay, I trust you. Like, this guy would just be so gullible. Yeah, I think Like, there's he... so many people who just would just keep bringing him the wrong stuff, broken things. I mean, I think the or... problem is, is that he pays them before they, before he combines. Yeah, he's powerful, but I never said that he was smart. Because <laughs> he's like, oh, is this like one of the friendliest snakes you found? And it's just like, uh, no, it's just a random snake I picked up on the street. I don't know if he's friendly. I mean, I have these holes in my skin, which suggests that it's not, but I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it's a friendly snake. It's really friendly. 
Python. Okay, I'll I'll uh, trust you on this. Combine with an elephant so that he's warm, uh, lovable, and huggable. And I need you to go and test him for me. Make sure that he hugs well. Realizes that this was a bad <laughs> idea, and it's like, uh, it's like what? Wait, you shouldn't uh, have I'm anything sure to worry about. This. I'll pay you double. Ooh, no, it's more okay. like you shouldn't have anything to worry about. You told me yourself that you got one of the ha the nicest snakes out there. No reason to be upset, worried about this. The yeah, person like starts this, sweating. This uh, whole book could just be absolutely hilarious. It's the obvious type of like book I'd read to my little brother, and he would absolutely love it, and I would love it because there's like a myth feel to it, and a fairy tale myth like feel. Yeah. Oh, I need to start reading, like, more yeah, folk tales to my brother. And each chapter you could get so creative with, because the jungle is just filled with so many ridiculous and interesting, unique creatures and plants and, uh, and, uh, terrain and everything. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And just... Like, and you, you can have such hilarious tasks, like, I need you to fetch me part of the sun. Like, yeah, just go up there and get me part of the sun. Yep, you can do it. You, I believe in you. You're fine. And it's like, uh, okay, brings back the lantern. Is this part of the sun? Yeah, yeah, totally, sure. Okay, uh, what else can we world build with this? Good question. Um... I, I think this is pretty well world built, but is there anything else that we could do to make this more interesting? I I'm I'm not sure. To be to be honest, we have our creator guy who's off creating and sending people off and it's just it's just like oh. a lot of funny stories. Okay, where is he getting the money? The Does money he, he had just his money saved up over his lifetime. The dude or? can combine and create anything he wants as long as he has stuff. I don't. It could honestly be that these people are asking favors, which could be like another humorous thing. Where uh, if he doesn't get what he wants, he messes up on purpose what they requested from him. So someone might be wanting like a ton of gold coins, so they bring like fools. So they bring like this gold powder and these rocks and stuff, and it's like, okay, make it into gold. And the guy's like, and this person failed his task. He's like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Snaps his fingers, and you get fool's gold. So the stuff yes. that looks like gold, but it's worth nothing. Yes. Uh, yeah. So you can you get that other element of he also combines for the payment, and it's not always what you wanted. And sometimes it I is, love it if they succeed. Okay, so, uh, question. Where did this guy get his powers, or do we just say he got powers? This guy just has powers. I... Okay, this guy just has powers. Like, it's unexplained, he just has them. Have you ever read have a folktale where they explain how the gods get their powers? No, they just have them. Occasionally you get explained where they're from, like, their parents, but then again, their par at some point, there's a point where they stop explaining. Because yeah. you have so to stop explaining. Just... I think this is the kind of story where you can just say, he just has them. Yeah. And uh, go with that. Yep. It's more trouble than it's worth to explain it. It is. It definitely is. And why does this guy want to build a jungle? I don't know. I think it's just he's bored. Yeah. He and just wants one. Yeah. And he thinks it'd be cool. Um, it would be cool, because jungles are cool. Do I want to yeah, live just, in a jungle? No. He no purely desire. just feels like it, and there is no other reason or justification. He just wants to do it. And that is it. And if you're like, that's silly, well, I ask you why did God make the jungle? And we leave it there. <laughs> yeah, he just wants it. He just wants a jungle, okay? So stop cutting it down. Yeah, I mean, imagine it's like if somebody comes over to this jungle and it's just like, hey, uh, this is a interesting place you got here. Yeah, yeah, you like it? Uh... Like isn't the word I would use to describe. You know, I'm getting bitten awful lot by these bugs. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody brought me a very vicious creature, and I combined it with some uh, less vicious, uh, vicious creatures that were very tiny, Like, and uh, now they all bite you. Yeah. Or it's I like, uh, maybe it's like I combined um, a tick with a fly, and now you've got a bunch of mosquitoes. <laughs> it, it was a bad call, but they repopulate so fast, I can't do anything about it. And honestly, I thought I was making things better. I didn't realize I was making a new terror. It's not like they carry diseases like ticks do, do right? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> It's like and he's like, yeah. Are we sure that these guys are safe on light ticks? Because I've been go- I've gotten bitten by a whole lot of these. I'm not gonna get an illness, right? No, no, no you're no, fine. No, no, you're safe. And then anyway, what if you br- show me what you brought me? What if you brought me? <laughs> yeah, because that could also just be another thing. Like he has a line of people who want something from him, so they bring offerings. Yeah, it's like that could. Yeah, that could be. It's like they just, they're just like. Hey, uh, I brought you this creature, and ex- in exchange, I would like this item. Or maybe um, he wants a specific type of creature, and uh, so he's uh, so uh, like how we specifically wanted part of the sun. Somebody might go to him and be like, "Hey, so I don't know what to you know, what to get you or what you've already had. Can you tell me what you want?" And then he's like, "Oh yes, I would like something without legs." Yep. And that doesn't swim, and then somebody has to go and find a snake. Yep. Or a worm, or something. Yep. Or he might say, uh, or he might say something like, "I would like to make, um, let's uh go with uh." I mean, we haven't even talked a... about how he made the jungle tree itself, like the the, the giant. I mean, tree. I imagine that was combining like uh. Maybe a couple, uh, some kinds of plants. Like maybe he just combined an oak tree with um, redwood. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I guess a redwood, and then covered it in vines. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would imagine that's how he created the uh, the jungle trees. Is something along those lines. Yeah. Uh, but you could have. So much fun with this world, and so many fun stories, and so many fun character interactions. And then they're safe to tell your children. Well, safe yes, it's absolutely you. hilarious. Yeah. I mean, there might be some death or violence in it, but it's funny death and violence. It's fine. But I, I think we're good with this world. Uh, I'm not really sure where else we could go with it. I think we've covered the most important bases. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, the only other place we could really go with this is just keep on figuring out how he created uh, a bunch of stuff and come up with new uh, combinations and scenarios, which, yeah. that's always fun. We could spend, like, another several hours doing that, but that'll get a little repetitive. Uh, well, but I'm the sure moment it would remain some- hilarious. The moment someone says, hey, you know how you talked about wanting to do, like, short stories to be paid for? Like, people, like, uh, so, uh, our podcast website has this thing where you can have, like, a special subscription service where you can pay for extra content. And we had talked about if anyone ever showed interest, so, like, leave a comment on YouTube or go to our uh, podcast website page and you can, like, do a voiceover message to us that way. We talked about wanting to uh, do that, but instead of another podcast, they would be stories that we've written up together and then read out loud, like acted out for you guys in video form, so you guys could listen to us actually have done a story. And But that would be behind a paywall. And so we need, we need to know we have viewers interested in paying for those before we actually start investing our time and energy into actually producing them. So if that is something Trust you're interested your money. in, yeah, if that is something you're interested in, just let us know in the comments or send us a message over on our uh, website, which is linked in every single podcast site. Wherever you're listening, the main anchor website is linked somewhere. So just hunt for it; it's there, and you can send us a little message ask, requesting, saying, "Yeah, I'd be interested in that." It wouldn't be like a high paywall. We we know better than that. It'd be, I'll probably we be. Do? Yeah, we do. We do I know mean, that. We, we could just ask for people to bring us uh, some materials and stuff, and then we give them whatever we can create out of those materials, and then or, they bring us or, else. <laughs> or they can just give us money, and we will give them stories, and then we will use that money to buy things like better mics, like proper podcasting mics and stuff. Oh, I like your idea better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, uh, the money's going straight back into the podcast, at least for a while. Because we have things we need, such as better stuff to do everything on. So, 
I mean, unless we get to a point where we can start making a living off of this, the money's going back into the podcast. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's the plan. So, let us know if you're interested in that. But I think this is where we're going to end this particular podcast. Next week, Isaac, you have full reign to pick out whatever idea you want. We will not limit you this week. All right. Yeah, this one turned out a lot better than I thought it was. It was fun. I wasn't sure how we were going to world build this one because it was it was simple, but it worked. Yeah. The simple I I feel like you say that about every week. It's like every week I have this idea and I'm like, oh, it's so simple. And then next thing you know, it's not. <laughs> it, <laughs> I mean, it's still it's, fairly simple, but it's so it's got so much potential. Folk tales. It'll be fun. Yeah. So seriously, t- t- let us know. We'll start writing stories for them. I don't know where we would start or like how we would do it. Maybe I think whoever agrees, say, hey, yeah, we're willing to pay. Also, write down which stories you most want, and we will start with those. You'll get to you'll get to choose the story each week, pretty much, until we like catch up. We might do like two a week for a while until we're caught up. We'll just overwhelm ourselves with work, but if we're paid for it, it's not that bad. It's not that overwhelming anymore. But we should we should probably say goodbye before we rattle off for another hour. All right. Goodbye, people. Bye. George. George, George of the jungle, George, George, George of the jungle, look out for that tree! I knew you were going to do that one too. I just knew it. I mean, it was that or the bare necessities. Oh, I wish you had done the bare necessities. <laughs> okay, the bare necessities. I don't remember all the lyrics. You know, okay, we'll you know what? Maybe it. it was better you did George the jungle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll change it. Ooh, whoopie doo, whoop doo, I wanna be like you.